my main point about uh, EU populism, next chart, and these are just review, uh, if you like, is um, the surprising uh, uh, presidential election of uh, Emmanuel Macron. As you know, the uh, far left and the far right ran against him and had extraordinary popularity. Uh, Le Pen, uh, Marine Le Pen, had her highest showing ever. She even had someone running to the right of her who gained a lot. And you had a huge um, uh, uh, coalition on the far left who got a lot. Anyway, they did not succeed in preventing Macron from being elected president, but they have succeeded in completely gridlocking his National Assembly, which means he can't get any legislation through, any laws passed, uh, that just happened, you know, two, three weeks ago. And uh, Macron is going to be living vote to vote to get any policy through. Uh, he's a complete legislative gridlock. I would say uh, as bad or worse uh, because it's more ideological than what we face in the United States. This uh, orange line here is the number of deaths and uh, the number of births. You can see, Daryl. They're almost touching. Uh, China is almost about to start losing population. And you can see what a cliff they've fallen off. China, as you probably know, negligible uh, immigrate, net immigration. Uh, so they are completely reliant on natural increase to keep any forward growth. So probably, a, certainly by the mid-2020s, they will be negative. And that's easily five or, or 10 years uh, 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 earlier than anyone had predicted a couple of years ago. Uh, the rise of remote work, and we do not see that going away. Um, and you can see next chart, we have Castle, we're a back to work barometer. I know a lot of people used to look at this a lot. We used to look at it, uh, Daryl, during the pandemic. Well, you can see here on March 4th, 2020, 95%, that's the usual occupancy or usual meaning pre-pandemic. Uh, we are still at uh, 44 percent, right? And these these are uh, in you know urban areas. Sort of these are you, you can see what the metro areas are here: San Francisco, San Jose, New York, and so on. And and it's actually been declining slightly over the last few weeks. This is the week of June 29th. Uh, we didn't use Fourth uh, of July because it was just obviously a weird week. But you can see where we are there. Um, this is, the, this is the new normal. Increasingly, people are expressing a preference for suburban. They don't want to be hugely away from cities, uh, but they don't want to be um, downtown as much. And you can see that's a significant decline. And you can see the alkali. Now, this is a particular, this is done in the New York Times using the Census Bureau data. Now, we were unable to replicate that, but in a moment, we'll show you some, some other uh, charts. This, this, shows something of the same sort. But you can see this huge decline in large metros, somewhat of a rise in some of the smaller metros. But overall, when you look at the huge decline from the large metros, the net outflow is down. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation. Or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.